Hi, hello, and welcome to another daily Elastic Byte session. And again, uh, today we are we are talking about Kibana. Uh, so we'll directly get into the talk. And today we are talking about Kibana query languages as well as Lucene query language. Now, uh, Kibana is like a very expressive tool, and uh, you store a lot of uh, data in the Elastic Search, and then you try to use it. Uh, you know, you try to analyze, visualize the data using Kibana. So uh, there are Elastic Search is based on search. And uh, the, it's the search that helps you to do a lot of these things. So I have today uh, two or three data sets that I could show it to you. And we will work on like, you know, some Kibana query language tips and tricks, and then uh, we'll see how you could query this data. It might sound very easy uh, when, when to get started, but you could also do more and more and more uh, with the data that is already available with the search and with the, with the filters that are available in the Kibana UI. So uh, go, getting started, I have a, a books data set wherein I, I have ingested a bunch of books from 2019 Am Amazon bestsellers. And uh, I, I have these books and uh, the titles. Of course, we have a lot of you know free text uh, to like, you know, search across. Uh, I also have an accounts data set wherein I have some numbers, I have some names, I have address and I also like, you know, some balance to do some number work. And then we, we have the native and uh, sample data set like blogs through which you could do some timestamp related data. Uh, so we will quickly get into the Kibana query language. So how, where does the Kibana query language look at or like how, how does this, uh, or should I go to the dev tools or should I go to another UI? Uh, you don't need to go anywhere actually. So it is right up here in the search bar. So to start with, actually uh, it shows Lucene here, uh, but actually you can enable the Kibana query language uh, using this toggle and then make sure that you could get all the, uh, you know, the autocomplete and suggestions. So KQL is like, you know, a simplified uh, query syntax. It helps you to filter uh, the data. It helps you to do simple search on top of the data that is available to just, you know, slice and dice the data and take a look at everything. Uh, but at the same point of time, uh, it is not like uh, you can't do a very full text search or you can't do aggregations or you can't do a bunch of other stuff, but it helps you to uh, find out the data. So as I said, uh, I have something like, you know, uh, accounts. So let us quickly go and see and type a KQL uh, search and see what how it works. So if you could see, it shows me an autocomplete and also like the searches that I have previously done. Say, for example, if I want to check uh, uh, account uh, with uh, gender and uh, if it goes to male, right? And and I, I just type uh, enter and then I it will find all the uh, accounts with gender is male. So if I want to do more, like, you know, these are the autocomplete that help me to help me to like filter, slice and dice the data. Uh, say N is an operator. Likewise, you have R operator. You have different operators that again comes as an autocomplete here. Uh, now N can be smaller case or uh, bigger, I mean, uh, uppercase. And then you could also give like, you know, balance uh, is like, you know, say greater than uh, say 30,000. And then uh, it will filter out the data and shows you something related. You could also go and uh, you know uh, specifically do uh, you know term queries. You could do uh, more queries which are uh, time oriented, time zone related. Let us quickly go back and see uh, if we could find uh, something like that. So Kibana has a, a, like you know a feature called Lens, which we are going to discuss in the Elastic Byte going forward again. So I'll quickly show you uh, how you could go and look at a timestamp, and then you can go and like you know uh, find out uh, the data between. So again, this search bar carries over to all the apps, and you could also like you know query and keep that query across the apps as well. Uh, if, if there is a time component, you could also use a time component, you know, filter the data, etc. So um, here I could do like, you know, timestamp, say I already have something typed in. So I just use that, say timestamp is so and so. And then it will show me the data for that specific uh, uh, like time period. If I want the timestamp to be like, you know, I want to do a different top type of timestamp, like say uh, I want to look at from different time periods, I could also do that point of time uh, and query that data. Now I am querying here. It helps me to slice and dice the data. And then I could look at the visualization. I could drag and drop different, you know, uh, fields and like make it look much different and maybe, maybe, uh, you know, do different stuff. So this is KQL. 
Uh, KQL has uh, some more features like you could also search on the nested documents, you could also search on the scripted fields uh, and a lot more stuff. Uh, but let us also go back and also look at other uh, type of querying language that you could do in Kibana. Uh, now remember KQL uh, uh, is, is one way to search the data. You also have something like, you know, uh, Lucene query language, which is there from the beginning in Elasticsearch and which also helps you to uh, do more uh, full text related stuff uh, uh, like, you know, fuzzy test, fuzzy searching and, you know, you could also do proximity searching, etc. So how do you enable that? Like in the beginning, if you see, if I turn off the KQL, uh, you would see Lucene uh, turn up here and then you can do Lucene based search actually. So here, uh, basically, you could uh, do multiple types of searches, and uh, it still gives you the same sort of thing. But the but the key thing here is to you need to remember that there is no autocomplete. So let me quickly change uh, to the books data set that I have, and uh, let me show you uh, how it works. So I could go to author, and uh, I say John, right? It 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 filters. It, it's as simple as it. But I could also do a wildcard search, like you know. A star and it will bring me all that i could also uh do different uh you know uh, like you know type of wildcard searches i could uh perform uh multiple uh type of like search only on the uh only on the data set that i have but there are many many types of searches like you know you could uh you could do with uh lucene now remember i'll i'll show you something uh jj so the so the case is very important here. So if you are using end or operate or operator, sometimes you should you could use like the capital one as well. Um, you could also like go and look at the inspect here, which shows how the request is being uh, is being uh, queried to Elasticsearch. Like if you see the it's going in a query string format, and then uh, that is the, the query goes in a Lucene query uh, syntax actually. So it, it also shows that uh, wildcard is enabled, uh, analyze wildcard is enabled, uh, which is which which might take also a lot of resources. If you have a lot of if you have a lot of records and you want to search on top of it, it gets trickier and it is not so easy. Now let us also go and look at some more patterns in using Lucene. Lucene, uh, uh, you need to escape spaces. You need to do a lot of other stuff. Say for example, if I want to search uh, a book with a user rating four point five, and here if you see that. I'm escaping the space using the bar. And then uh, when I search, I kind of like, you know, I, I have a bunch of results, but uh, it, it is giving me the result uh, based on that way. Uh, I could also like, uh, you know, like I said, I could use regex, regex uh, to search this. I could put a regex expression, expression and then I could find out. I would also like uh, do fuzzy searching. Let me uh, kind of like, maybe I'll do author and then um, i'll try to find out or, or title title would be much better or name name of the book say if i have uh, something like you know uh, time and or like you know i'll say line and then i say so uh, fuzzy it will find out the relative word so it, uh, elastic search is a fuzzy search scheme and then you could use this particular listing uh, to find out such such sort of use cases it is very helpful in the security and other areas as well likewise you could also do proximity search like say if you want to like you know uh, say song uh, fire and if you want to like you know add uh, like you know find out a proximity uh, search uh, search thing you could do all of that uh, these are, there are different different ways to go and look at uh, the 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 data in Elastic uh, in the Elastic Search using Kibana query language or Lucene. Um, so the, the, these are some ways that I could show you in the limited time. Uh, there are links I would put it in the description. Uh, you could go and read more about both both methodologies, uh, how to get started with KQL and uh, as well as uh, the Lucene query language. Uh, thanks for joining the session. Uh, that's it for the today's Elastic Byte.